Hey, I hope everybody's doing okay. Today we are going to be working on putting the Eaton Supercharger snout back together. It's on the M45 Jackson Racing Supercharger kit. We have the pulley shaft here and the rear housing bearing. We're going to get that pressed on right now. And then we're going to put the coupler, the metal coupler back on. Okay, we got the supercharger pulley shaft in. We have the old pulley nut on. We got the bearings thing on top of a socket. And we have it lined up as straight as possible and we want to push down. And it's going in nice and smooth. Alright. We're going in pretty smooth. We're about to bottom out. And we're bottomed out. And I'm not pushing super hard down. Just enough to make it make contact. Now let's get the mechanical coupler set up to go on. Okay, I got some light on. As you can see, there's some splines that go into the mechanical metal coupler. You have to make sure those splines are lined up. It'll go in smooth when it is, and then it's just nice, smooth pressing on from there. You make sure you get a socket big enough to fit. Kind of just bottom it out there. And there you have it. The bearing should spin nice and smooth on there. Like butter, each way. Everything's seated down properly where it's supposed to be. So let's get the bearing in the housing. And keep moving. All right, we got the front bearing in the snout, and we're gonna press it down nice and slow. Gotta get a socket that fits inside the bore of the supercharger. Now we're just gonna keep on pressing down until we bottom out. Alright, and we bottomed out square. Place the tension. And we should have a free spinning bearing in there. And there we go. So now let's get the shaft in there. Okay, now that we got the housing set up in the press, we've got a socket that goes around and allows the shaft to sit in the middle. You don't want to push in the shaft when you're going down. And then we got a socket on the bearing down there. So we're going to go down, push it nice and slow, and watch the bearing seat. And there it goes. Nice and smooth. And that's about it. It's down. Now if everything is good, we should have a smooth turning shaft. Let me get this out of the press. Alright, the bearing, the shaft, and the mechanical coupler are in. And if you see, give it a spin. And it's smooth as butter. Each way is smooth as butter. So I'll have to get the front seal and the snap ring in. The coupler on and this thing will be done. All right, and after you get the shaft in, you're gonna put the seal in, the snap ring, you're gonna get the pulley on and the pulley nut. Uh, I had to make a special pin to hold the pulley back on there. I had to cut it and machine it down. Other than that, everything is good. Everything spins nice. So yeah. Stay tuned for the next part of the build on the housing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.